You're here for your education, but you have one life. Everyone has this expectation that you need to have it all figured out after high school, but college itself is still one of those transition periods where you get to figure out yourself. A lot of students don't know what they're gonna do in college, right? And if we can help them find the next step, well, that's better for everybody. They know they have to work hard. Of course, they're also looking to have fun. You meet all different types of people, like completely different personalities and stuff like that. But we all accept each other in the best ways possible. The opportunities that you're presented here in college are once in a lifetime, and you have no idea where it's going to take you. UW-Oyota has definitely gotten me very excited for the field that I'm going into. I've been getting hands-on, real-world experience with cameras and audio, and I mean, I work at the radio station as well, so it's allowed me to be really creative in the shows that I want to produce and the things that I want to create. The show is every Monday night at 8.41 Perkins Stadium is a lot different than every D3 stadium. When you have 18,000, 19,000 people right behind you cheering for you, you can't help but to feel good and feel strong. So this is kind of like a dream come true that uh, has taken a long time. We can bring my expertise from Tropical Rainforest and partner that up with the expertise of Jordanian scholars and students. Aside from some really cool science happening, there's also going to be just some really neat collaborations that are going to come about from this experience. We are pushing the envelope. One of the things that we've often done here in terms of our department, we're flexible. When we see a changing tide, we don't let it like swamp us over. We move ahead with curricula that helps us look at what are the current trends. Poetry is one of those art forms that kind of lives outside of the purview of popular culture. And for me, it's really important that poetry exists outside of that conversation. We need artists making art in our state for the sake of our communities and for the sake of individuals. Many graduate students in social work counseling and marriage and family therapy have clinical internships that are unpaid. I came back for a few reasons. I felt so financially, you know, supported here. When I do get a career, I don't want to have so much debt. And Whitewater has all of these opportunities and grants and scholarships for me to apply to. So that's really amazing. There is such a great need for nurses in our area. 
but also few opportunities for students to get the training and the degrees that they need. It opens up the possibility for students even to live in Whitewater's housing and come to Rock and get a nursing degree, which really means that students can get a true four-year experience nursing degree without leaving this area, without leaving Whitewater. That's not been possible for them before. To represent the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater as its 2022 Homecoming King is one of the craziest experiences I've ever felt. No matter what can be thrown at me, I can sit here and represent my community and my university. When you really look back at the time here that you've had, and you see all the love and support that your professors have given you, your friends have given you, there's a lot of opportunities to explore who you are. They gave you a chance through accepting you at this university because they saw a Warhawk in you. 